they were all garbage. All of those yeah. kids were garbage. Well, I hate to, I hate to be the bearer of obvious news here, but all I children know. are garbage. I know. Everything's on fire. Marilyn Monroe's on fire, still yeah. showing her ass. Yeah, she was uh, married to the game. How fast can fast finger slim? Finger when fast finger slim is fingering fast. I know what you're doing. Oh, hell yeah. I learned from wiping your ass. <laughs> That's... They said you couldn't do it on seven hours of sleep. I said, go ahead and try me, motherfucker. It's the dapper motherfucking dads. How's everybody doing today? Seven hours is a lot of sleep. Seven? No, seven hours betu- in the last two days. Okay, well, yeah, you kind of have to <laughs> iterate on that. it again? Yeah. Cause gotta, yeah, because I was going to say seven hours is like perfectly fine. And no, it was three, That's my sweet spot. three the night we got back from Madison and then mm-hmm. four last night. And it's like, I don't, like, I wasn't even out. I, I left at 10 last night and I came home. <laughs> like a huge bitch. Like a huge bitch. I left at 10. I was like, gotta be up early. See ya. And then I literally just laid in bed watching uh, The Haunting of Hill House. I watched like an episode and a half of that. I and, guess this uh, is growing up, huh? Yeah, I guess this is what getting older is. Nobody told you know when I was young, and I was and, I, and you know you you know you're young, and you think about what you're gonna be like when you get older. Nobody told me I'd just be an exhausted, anxiety ridden piece of shit by the time I was gonna be 27. Uh, that's true, yeah. But I mean, it's it's par for the course. I, um, I I mean, let's just keep sailing forward, boys. Yeah, well, there's nothing else to do. Let's <laughs> fucking go. <laughs> go to www.thedapperdads.com for everything, including all of the sweet, sweet. New merch including the shirt i'm wearing in the video it's a beautiful the, uh, fucking tea it came out wonderfully the corpse uh paint shirt we've gotten some orders for them they're flying they're flying off the shelves if any shirt we can't been. even keep them in stock uh, it's incredible no i'm making them by hand with puff paint uh you can also do anonymous <laughs> submissions there we have uh two and uh yeah you can do shit there we have a patreon uh, yes which we finally emphasize we've gotten some um patrons is that what you say I Patrons, guess technically, donors, yeah, patrons, subscribers, the Patreon. Some good quality <laughs> folks have uh, jumped on board with that. Thank you if you have already. Thank you if you're planning on doing it. There's a exclusive episode up there now. We can't even talk about it because it's only for the fine folks that donate. Mm-hmm. Um, if you don't donate, well, then fuck you. Dapperdadspodcast at gmail.com if you're into the... Uh, Taking a strong digital, stance against the anti-Patreon. Digital. <laughs> yeah, even though everything says, we love you either way. Yeah. That was slim. I hate all of you equally. Mm. I have a lot of empathy, though. I can't help it. I also have empathy, and I hate it. Mm. Uh, Not much. Call 4027-DAPPER. That's 4027-327-737. And... Uh, Scream into the phone. <laughs> Just literally, scream. we got a we got a voicemail. We, we got did a get play. a voicemail. A fantastic we'll voicemail. To. I was uh, told by the person. Uh, I was with the person who left the voicemail last night, and um, I played it for some people at the party, and she had to leave the room because she is yeah, so embarrassed kind of a by dick her move. singing. <laughs> well, people wanted to hear it. Well, well then they'll listen to the podcast. Well, and then taken well, away from our plays. Well, by then, well, we can. I was just showing it to Colby. Well, fuck Colby. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Now, shit. now we've alienated <laughs> our biggest fan. <laughs> Is he, though? Uh, I guess he should prove himself. Yeah, Colby, prove yourself. I don't mean fuck you. I will fuck you if the timing is right. Yeah, it's got to be. fuck anyone if the timing is right. Well, yeah. It's, Spoiler it's, alert, the timing's always wrong. Spoiler <laughs> alert, I've people. never seen the timing go yeah. right. <laughs> it's like one brief I've second. Been, I've been waiting for out. like six, seven plus years now, and the yeah, timing has not been right. A lot right. of people have been waiting six, I've taken a knee years. twice in Chicago for you, and you just won't do it. Well, yeah, I'm not going to jump into marriage. That's the problem with this country. I told you, I'm waiting for, till marriage. I'm saving myself for you. <laughs> I've seen what you have. It's not worth saving. Eh, you ain't fucking kidding. <laughs> Follow us on Twitter, at Dapper Dads. Uh-uh, there's words. Follow us on Instagram, at Dapper Dads Podcast. There's pictures. Um, Live Dapper Dads, bitch. We're dying Dapper, Dapper Dads. Dads. It's the only option. Uh, so it's been, it feels like it's been years since we've recorded. It has, even though it's only been <laughs> eight days, nine days, something like that. It, it feels it's like longer we, than normal. This is a Sunday episode. As you can tell, the energy is, it's going to be a little more somber this time. Sunday, if you're, Sunday if energy. you're waking up on a Friday and you want a nice easy, if you're, if you're, you're using us like a Red Bull or a cup of black coffee on your Friday morning, this is not the episode that's going to do it. No, nope, but we will make you shit like a cup of coffee. Absolutely. I I, I believe we secretly put some brown noise in the background of each episode mm-hmm. that encourages the, the brown shitting. Note. Um, so, yeah, it's been a fucking, it's been a minute. We, we've we been we've done running some, into different we've, cities. We've done some things, and yeah. Shitting and covered in sweat and other things. Well, let's go ahead and just recap this uh, at the top of the show. We saw a Pew 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 in yes. Chicago. Yep, and on a Sunday. On a Sunday. A week ago, to, as of recording. And wow, that was really only a week ago, Jesus. <laughs> I know, right? It feels and then, like uh, living so the last night and feels like a past life. And then the whole reason we're recording on a Sunday is because Friday we uh, caught Prof on the first 
first leg of his East Coast Pookie Baby Tour in Madison at the Majestic, mm-hmm. which was wild, yeah, to the, say the least. The Pew Show, we had a nice day in Chicago. We won't break it all down, but we, we did a lot of running around. Went, went to Richards per usual. Yes, Richards is the, the focal point, and it was uh, beautiful and sexy. And then we saw Pew 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 for the second time this year. As if you're listening, you know that we just keep seeing the same artists over and over. We, so we like really what we like. And, you know, I think as uh, young men with anxiety problems, we are prone to things that make us comfortable. And when, yeah. when you find so it's, it's like when you get stuck on a drink or a uh, food, you know, it's like when you find something oh, you like, you just want to you just want to sit there and enjoy it as much as you can. You know, yeah. I mean, we with how much fun we had. Well, it's like with how much fun we have seeing all these people. It's like, why don't we just keep trying to up the fun with it? You know? And it's great that you like have the opportunity that these people tour a lot. So yeah, Pew 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 was <coughs> incredible. I will say, um, I don't know if that's a hot take or not. The the show in January, I preferred more. There I will also special say that. About yeah. that show. What, what was, they were great regardless. Oh yeah, the, what what I think was so special about that was it, they were both small venues, but that venue felt like smaller, yeah. it felt more intimate. It felt like, and they were also headlining, so it felt like more people were like there for into them. it yeah because they were the second opener for we left after them I don't, yeah I don't it know. was red city radio something wasn't like it? that not not fans personally yeah. we're not fans of them but uh good for them uh thanks for taking pew out so we could see yeah. them um but pew was fantastic as always it was they literally sound just like they do on the album it's one of those few bands that captures the live sound as well as they do the yeah. album sound my uh, favorite part was it didn't seem like it was going to get rowdy because it, again, was the, f- the dad squad and then a handful of other men and a woman that was very brutal somehow. Yeah, but, um, there was two women that were very brutal. Yeah, well, the one was just dancing a lot and that one was out for blood. Well, that the one that was out for blood, she like grabbed my whole head at one point and she was probably a sixth of my size. Yeah. And she just grabbed my face at one point and was just screaming pew lyrics in my face. Women scare me at shows. I don't want to touch them. I it's, mean, yeah, I don't want to touch women in this I, I don't, I don't want to touch him, but like so I kept getting pushed, moshing towards her, and then you have to mm-hmm. do that, like Michael Jackson <laughs> skirt, and, and then stop, and so then don't hit him. But I mean, like you, you've gotten pretty graceful with the skirt. I'll give you that. Oh God, that show! I was so graceful. It helps a lot when the floor is not coated Covered in, in beer, beer or other things like cake. Uh, yeah, like cake. But uh, what happened immediately? The first song was uh, that uh, Prime Minister of Defense, which isn't too rowdy. The second song, I, I don't remember what it was, but. Uh, Slim instantly shoved me directly into the stage, and I pushed a monitor. And on my elbows, which were the most recent thing that had taken a toll in Minnesota, um, I have I had a cut somewhere. But yeah, it instantly slammed me directly in the monitor. I pushed it so far, and then I ran away from it because I felt embarrassed. And a man that worked there had to come and fix it. No rules in the pit, bitch. Yeah, I know. You guys are monsters sometimes. Man, wait, but, we, uh, oh, you want to talk monsters, let's talk prof on Friday because we were... I feel like Pew was crazier for me personally. Mm. Where? Towards that, well, I don't know, because like that's more just moshing. Like I didn't wake up sore from prof. I woke up and washed my body after Pew, and I realized mm. I was covered in bruises. Speak- I had a real gnarly one that took up like my whole arm. I think I have twin there. bruises. Forget I have that tattoo I gave myself. <laughs> Don't you hate that? Yeah, I'm always like, I got a bruise. Oh, and I also have the very faded stick tattoo from 14 years. <laughs> I have uh, two bruises of equal size and equal placement on both of my arms from the prof show, which is the first time that has ever happened to me. And I woke up and thought... Someone grabbed you perfectly. I, 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 I woke up and I thought that a witch cursed me and I was just starting to bleed from the she inside did. out. I've seen her there. Yeah, well, fuck that bitch. Um... But yeah, sh- Chicago was fun. Wild Sunday night. You don't really get wild on Sunday nights. No, nah, um, we got back at a reasonable time. It was yeah, right. it was nice. Um, and then yeah, fucking Friday was prof, and we got out there late. But I think we managed to still. I did not get drunk really at all. I was I was trying it. We got the brandy slushies, which, which was were a, a personal quest ever since. I found out about them, and last time we went, the place was closed, but they were delicious, and they were packed because there was a <sighs> Brewers game packed. on. Yeah, insanely packed. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, we got to the venue, uh, got the sweet guest list hookup, which made me feel like a boss. Made your dick feel huge walking in with that big dick energy? No, I did, yeah, once I had the tickets. And then, uh, yeah, I don't even know where to begin. Prof, of course, amazing show. This one, the one good thing is I couldn't get drunk, but wow, it was one of my favorite times I've seen him in recent memory this in is like the, a venue because I can remember it. This is the fourth time we've seen him this year? <coughs> uh, once again, we saw him at the Majestic in February. We saw him at Soundset Festival, and we saw him at uh, Prof Outdoors. The yeah, festival he was in his, there. Yeah, the festival in his namesake. He showed up. Um, 
Who else was there? there uh, what was that first rapper? Do we even remember what his name was? No, I don't. We didn't really watch uh, But Dino Rowland was there. Macker was there. And they, they put on a fantastic mm-hmm. show. Uh, I managed to shove my way up to the front very, very close. Had some, yeah. g- had some good interactions with Prophet this show. Uh, he, yeah. he looked at me several times when I was just screaming in his face, and he looked both amazed and terrified. Well, then um, when he made you rap, my favorite thing is that he goes, you're too tall and too young, man. That's what he said. To yeah, you. like that's, that's like, the blessing a, I got from Prof. Yeah, what a weird <laughs> statement. You're too tall and too young. But how old is Prof? Like, He's on, like mid thirties, maybe like yeah, so thirty four. Like, so like he can't have that much of a jump on me, you know. Like, no, I think you just look younger. Cause yeah, there's, there is a surprising amount of like older fans at his show. Yeah, it's like people our age, a few younger people, and then like a lot of older people somehow. But I got the um, I don't even know what you want to call it, the coveted reward of rapping part of Bar Breaker into the microphone, which is was a fantastic moment because he's walking around and he's got the mic because if if you've never seen prof he does this thing when he plays bar breaker where he just stops in the middle no of the spoilers song and uh acts like his headset's not working the microphone's working and then he has somebody rap the fast part of bar breaker and he looked right at me stuck the microphone right in my face and it was one of those sweet euphoric moments because i nailed it i just want to say no, it got it got sloppy at the end and his face also got more like confused towards the end i had i hope i have it on video but yeah it was solid and then it started to trail off and you could tell because i'm pretty sure that happens with everyone that yeah. it's not like perfect and then yeah it kicked back in and it was funny everyone blew up it was ah oh, it was so fantastic it felt so good there was also a weird amount of women getting on shoulders which i'm for at like an outdoor concert i I feel like it makes more sense indoors is indoors dangerous. and that's not a big ven- like it's a big venue but it's like tiered and it gets snug up there yeah. that's why i hate the layout of that venue but uh yeah you had a woman and how did that begin Cause okay I, me so and, me and curd were behind you and just watched it for so him. what happened was she uh i could not like hear her at yeah, all people because people always want to talk to you yeah, people and always want like, to talk to me what there was saying, that dude this th- th- this dude like screamed in my ears like you're the biggest prof fan i've ever met and i'm like there's no way you can gauge that i don't understand how and um but no, this woman, like, she was there with her boyfriend, clearly, but uh, she was just like, you're really fucking tall. And I was like, thanks, <laughs> bitch. Hey, big guy. <laughs> oh, God. And um, she, at one point, she was like, hey, if he plays Animal, help me get on your shoulders. And I was, like, in the moment enough. I was like, sure, why the fuck not? Not realizing how solid this little woman was. Yeah. And so uh, we tried to get her up on my shoulders, and well, she for, for starters, he didn't even play animal. No, Never she just at, at one she point, just took the she just took the moment and did it. And this is uh, probably going to be animal. <laughs> then you get up there and you're just like, this isn't even the song. Well, and she tried climbing up it's on my criminal. Ba- she, <laughs> yeah, nothing better than having a big girl on your shoulders during criminal. Uh, and so she tried climbing up and you know, generally the etiquette, if you've never been a woman on a man's shoulders at a concert is that you need to get both of your legs around both of his shoulders mm-hmm. and rest on the back of his neck so he can like grab both of your legs for stability. This bitch yes. cli- like climbed me like a tree and had her like hands wrapped around my throat, which was very was scary. I thought I was going to pass was, out and die. I was directly behind her. I think I might have gotten video, but then I got real sketchy and I was trying to help like boost her up. But that means I'm just going to grab her fast. Ass. which and nobody was about. i was like i can't do that which apparently but had then, an odor to it according to matt the god i, I wasn't that close because matt was right behind me trying to help me and me and matt the god had yeah, several he was like right next to me and we were both there and he was helping and i was then i was trying to go like low thigh like by the knees because i uh-huh. feel like that's a that's an approachable area right but then she started to tumble so i just had to palm her ass and yeah. push her up but then she was just like hanging on the side of you she like, was like hanging on me like, like a, a monkey mon- on yeah, a tree like curious george on which the i could, which i could suit. support but i had had to make sure she didn't once again have her goddamn arms around my neck choking the life out of me it just looked so wrong yeah and then, it was it just did and i because i had the one leg on the shoulder like this and i kept trying to grab the yeah, other and hoist I and it just wasn't it happening just, it was weird it was just weird and uncomfortable it was the most well, action think, i've had in months but it was still uncomfortable i think you want to be on a tall guy's shoulder like maybe me i think you're too tall to get on the shoulders because you yeah. got to get down and then get up onto the shoulders and mm-hmm. you getting down on your knees is still like pretty tall yeah so uh, it was a uh, it was a uh, it was a uh, regrettable and then thing. there are two other girls got up on shoulders at different points and mm. they all have purses and I'm not gonna lie to anybody my first thought is looting their purse yeah just rummaging around seeing purse. what's it's going literally on literally right in front of my face <coughs> and they're all just tiny little purses with zippers and I know it's just credit cards and wallet it's just easy ID. to like, do you just yoink. I don't do it but it is the no first we don't promote theft on say. the show but I'll be damned if you're gonna if I don't do it, it. It's, that's the place yeah. to do it. 
But uh, yeah, so it was it was a typical Proud show, beautiful from Except front to back. Except for the very end. <laughs> well, yeah. Then what happens? I was waiting for President because if you've listened, and we just said we saw him in February. That was when my my knees were on unstable ground, and I was realizing, like I said, at that show. I realized how drunk I was at the last show because I don't remember really anything. Yeah. But I do remember he played president at the end, and then I remember something happened to where I fell down and it tore my knee. And maybe it maybe it's the presidential curse. So I wanted president so I can like reclaim it and have a normal memory of it and not that <coughs> tragic incident. But instead, it was ape shit, and we were all ready to go crazy. Because Kurt, Kurt and I have a special bond with that song after Prop Outdoors. I think everyone just does. At, well, well, I told Kurt while we were walking towards the venue, I was like, okay, so if he plays ape shit at the yeah. end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower down, and you're going to use my shoulders as a projection yeah. and use it to just launch yourself, which we did somewhat successfully. It was pretty great. Um, but it, the the first time we saw him at the Majestic back in February, there's a lovely picture out there that you can find of Willy Wonka shirtless yeah. doing a stage dive that was captured just perfectly, yeah, one of those brilliantly. perfectly timed photos. And so the Majestic decided to gift them with a cake that had a picture of the belly flop on it, we'll call it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I, I foolishly just was like, oh, nice, a cake. They're going to eat the cake before and after <laughs> yeah, the show. I also had that thought. But so ape shit comes on. And uh, Prof goes, who wants some cake? And Wonka just comes out with the whole cake. And what's great is, to, uh, to the, as of recording, today he put out a video he made <laughs> of them, which is fantastic. A where tremendous you, fail. It's a, it, was, it was a huge fail. And so what happened was, instead of planting the cake in someone's face, Wonka just kind of fell into the crowd with the cake yeah and the cake got all over the floor and it was one of those store-bought cakes that has like the just the grease icing on it yes and if you we thought the floor was slippery at the pew show it is nothing I've compared had a lot of slippery floor this was the slipperiest this was ungodly you like, you didn't even you could just push someone and they would just slide I was across just the standing floor. and it was like i couldn't stand still i no, was it's like, like you could not floating. find any grounding with and that Kurt at one on point like grabbed me around the waist because it was like you're out at sea and you're gonna be taken away yeah and i kept slipping and i thought my knees were gonna be bad. yeah i saw and you, i saw genuine like, fear in your face at one point that you were gonna well because i i seen the cake come out i seen him jump in the crowd I knew, but I didn't watch it happen, so I knew that the cake was in the crowd, but Mm -hmm. I thought of, like, there's a lot of people who throw cakes at their shows, so it took me a minute to realize that the cake was on the floor, so at first I thought it was just, like, a drink and it was slippery, and then I took another stuff, and I was like, because no one prompted us that the floor is going to get, like, it's like if you paid someone to grease the floor, I don't think it would be that slick it, like it you, like you could take you could take a healthy mixture of crisco lard and 100 percent butter fat and it would not have been no, as slippery as that unbelievable and also all of our shoes are cake i They're have a photo all of mine because when we left and then in the car it just smelled like cake which was good and when i got home i left my shoes in my garage and i was like yeah they got some cake on them because it also was chocolate which was misleading it yeah. looked like it wasn't gonna be chocolate and then i woke up the next day to let my dog out and i looked at the shoes and i was like jesus christ yeah. they are coated in yeah cake. i uh w- i did i did a very similar at, at, but the best part was when the cake came flying out uh it, like it's there was somebody there that just smelled like they just smelled like baloney i i'm quoted from prof outdoors where uh it got very hot and sweaty up where we were at and i said it's so hot and everyone smells like chicken pot pies yeah uh, there's always a different food yeah but so. this time it was so hot and whatever this man reeked of just smelled like baloney like he just smelled like a pack of like hot baloney and uh yeah it was it didn't have to be hot no it's like because there's like you know when you like open the oscar meyer and you just get that yeah. whiff of bologna but then like you ever had like a fried bologna you ever fried bologna before i think i have but a long time it, it, it smelled like fried bologna to me and that lead me to believe this man eats a lot of fried bologna because of the odor that was coming off of yeah. him uh there's always smelly people at shows always uh always smelly people at yeah shows. there's it only takes one uh and so the, the i believe since matt was right next to me the whole time he had to be smelling him too and when the cake came out, it suddenly the bologna odor was replaced with cake odor, which is nice. Which was nice, and you know we're refreshing. Mo- we're, we're moshing to Andre the John. Not, well, it was ape shit at that church. Point. Was it church? Well, he came out with church and then ape shit. So at some whenever the, church, I started going crazy. Whenever the cake got thrown, Matt suddenly goes, "Ah, oh, it smells so good in here <laughs> because it finally stopped smelling like bologna and it smelled like delicious cake everywhere." Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then we, uh, the plan was to get drunk, but I think we got so fucked during that show, we all just decided to leave. Exhausting. And I wasn't going to get drunk, because I never really got drunk, so I was like, that's not, 
this isn't worth it. Yeah. I'm just I, gonna stay in the room. I would like to since we're talking about drunken stories, I would like to regale a drunken story that I had since we recorded last. Uh but the day that we went to go to the Pew show, uh I went out and supported our friends uh at the Gore Score. They had a meet and greet event outside of Twisted Crips here in Rockford, and so I was helping to market a little bit, handing out some merchandise and stuff. Slipped a couple of dapper promos I in was there for say, everybody. I find that uh disrespectful. I mean and, you can uh, find it disrespectful, but I was doing if you the... just want to spit in my face. Listen, then, man, uh, I was out here doing the Lord's work as well as the well. The Lord's work is the dapper dance. That's work. what I'm saying. I was doing the Lord's work while I was doing the devil's work. Mm-hmm. See, I'm playing for both sides of the team. I don't like that either. Well, I mean, if I'm gonna go to heaven or hell, I wanna have a you know, a hand in the pocket of whoever I'm going towards. Mm-hmm. You know, I might as well, going to hell. well then I'm a, at least i have a hand in the pocket you know of hell yeah mm. and heaven no get a little bit of both I, no i don't think that's all so right. afterwards we decided uh to the the initial plan was to go back to olivia's house and record an episode uh, and we, they were just gonna have everybody who came out just hung out be a part of the episode just scream uh and everybody just started getting real drunk right away everybody just started Shocking. drinking really heavily and there was just shots involved there was pickleback shots because uh why is that everywhere now it, uh, well uh d uh this d is like the seventh time i've heard it in like a week well d came out and from chicago with her boyfriend jose and they're the ones who brought the pickleback shots so i did like you know six of those mm-hmm. and about an hour and a half two hours in the evening i was like you know what fuck it i'm just getting wasted and i'm just gonna crash here for a little bit uh ended up being up till six in the morning drinking with these people uh because at one point i was like i've had enough beer i've had enough shots i'm good and then just bottles of fruity wine started getting busted out of the fridge and you know me i'm a sucker for fruity yeah. wines i can't say no to that uh passed out around 5 36 in the morning and was b- apparently tried to be roused several ways one of them was being told uh there's juggalos invading the house slim help didn't wake me up no. uh, at one point somebody said hey daddy how's it going and that's like my like i love being called daddy but like it did yeah. not did not wake me up at all. Uh, and then I lost one of my tunnels in the couch, and I was woken up, and apparently they said, hey, here's your earring. And I went, tight, homie, thanks, and just shoved it back in my ear and passed out. Uh, so I got about two hours of sleep, and I woke up. And it's that thing you know, where you wake up and you just have that sick feeling in your stomach. I could not tell if it was from the drinking or the lack of sleep. And so I'm barreling down Harrison Avenue at 90 miles an hour, just hitting all the potholes because I had to go pick up curds so we could get back here so we could go get you to go to Chicago. So I ran home, took a quick shower, changed my clothes, and I'm driving. And as I'm driving, and we do not promote drinking and driving on the show, 100%. We do not promote it. Uh, I'm having this question in my mind where I'm like, am I still drunk or am I just really, really tired? And that question was answered for me because there is a road you have to turn down to get to Kurt's house. And I passed that road. And I was like, oh, that's my first girlfriend's name. And I just kept driving past it until I realized about... 10, 15 seconds later, I'd made a grave mistake and just skirted around in the neighborhood and turned back around. Uh, did not come down from my drunkenness until about 1230 when we were in Chicago at the uh, flare uh, thing. As I was walking up the stairs, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm not drunk anymore. <laughs> uh, and then last night I was at a party there. Uh, they Olivia was hosting her Halloween party, and every, there was a fantastic time. Everybody just got drunk and full of food, handed out. Some dapper merchandise to our friend Michelle, who we have a voicemail yes. from that we're going to be playing later on the show. So, Michelle, thank you so yes. much for the submission. Thanks for ordering the merchandise. She was dressed as Beetlejuice, a fantastic Ooh. Lady Beetlejuice costume. That's nice. Um, yeah, it was just a – I just realized whenever I go over to that house, I'm just going to be handed free drinks and just get stupid drunk the entire time. I think that's a lot of places we go now. Yeah, it's not – you know, it, there's a certain notoriety that comes with running the best podcast in the entire world, you know. Yeah. And, and just with the lifestyle that we promote here on mm-hmm. the show, I think mm-hmm. people just want to give us – free alcohol I think people think we're way crazier than we are we're really actually You're hearing v- the cliff notes of yeah our we're, lives. we're very tame well i mean it's like a tv show you know when you watch a tv show it's a 30, 30 minute episode there you get the setup you get the conflict you get the resolution all in 30 minutes that's what you get here on the dapper dads as well you don't get the it's parts all conflict <laughs> you know you don't get the parts where we're at home clipping our toenails watching netflix i just pick mine i'm picking mine right which now is, uh, which is insane to me i don't know why you wouldn't just clip your toenails i don't understand how people clip their it's nails. so much it's cleaner it's more efficient mm-hmm. mine's an anxiety thing Mm, i've done I, it i get that i can remember i mean honestly. M- my thing I is i don't like, know how i wouldn't do if, it if my nails get really long and like i haven't clipped them in a minute it'll start to feel weird on my fingers oh, and yeah. if they're like long i'll sit there and i'll peel them but like yeah. i just hate doing that because oh, I, I always that. feel like i peel it at like a bad angle and then i oh, take yeah. off too much you of gotta, my nail yeah i've got it's I've an got art a great it, it's an art you've yeah. got to perfect if it's if i do anything well it's picking my nails for my entire life well i remember doing it when i was like six years old go ahead and throw that on the old resume yeah that's all my resume is the 
job offers aren't pouring in, believe it or not. Hmm, interesting that there's not more I would job like opportunities. I like to pick other people's nails. Like that it. is a nightmare situation. Yeah. That sounds horrible. No one lets you do it, even if you just kind of start picking at it. They're like, what are you doing? Well, I mean. Because you're at the movie theater and you reach in between the seats, seats and you grab start clipping there. Just picking at their nail. What the fuck are you doing? Now, what would be more, what would be creepier for you if a man started picking at your nail in the theater or if a man started cutting your fingernails with it with clippers in the theater? That's mm. a, that could be a weapon. It could be. A, and yeah. I, that Especially if it's got scared. that sharp little file that flips around. Mine are never there. long enough to clip. And I don't get how yeah, you. you're constantly peeling. Well, yeah. And like, I if I, maybe if I had a big nail clipper that encompassed the whole nail, because they're always too sm- too like thin you got to get the big toenail clippers no that's what i use because i got big hands well yeah but how do you clip like your big toenail it's not one big enough for that there's not but you just got to do it in like sections yeah that doesn't make sense to me see that's an art that i've perfected is getting like that because i mean i got big feet too so it's like taking a big just you you got to be able to do it in well and both of my big toenails are fucked up because it doesn't make sense to me because it's like shaped specifically okay well it looks like the next time we're in a living situation together where we have to like stay the night or something Uh i will have to bring some toenail clippers and show you how it's done yeah but we'll be drunk and it won't end well the problem is both of my big toes are fucked up because the right foot went under a lawnmower Mm -hmm. and then the left foot i uh i think i was like 16 17 years old and a bunch of ice had melted out of the fridge and I slipped on the tile floor at my mom's house. And when I slipped, my big toe went underneath me. And yeah, I don't even know how it happened, but like my foot slipped and I feel like I tried to like grip myself and like my toes curled and I put like all the weight on the toe and the toenail and it just like cracked a huge part of it off and like oh. lifted it up a little this bit. Is when it, you know, this is like the only thing I have that I can't stand listening to. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of fun watching you squirm a little bit. All right. What, what do you want? <laughs> I've got it all. <laughs> um, eyeballs are my thing. Go ahead and give me some eyeball shit, I guess. Yeah. Do you, do you ever watch that movie? I watched an art class where they slit the eyeball, but it's the cows. Yeah. The yeah. Salvador Dali thing. Yeah. I yeah. never remember what the translation of that is. That movie's sick. Yeah. Well, lots of things Salvador Dali did are pretty sick. If we're going to be a hundred percent honest with you, that man was yeah absolutely bad shit in the city. yeah i love it a fun fact about salvador dolly i learned this from my art teacher in high school he had a brother uh named salvador dolly who <laughs> died before he was born and so his parents had the tombstone in the yard so every day yeah. when salvador dolly woke up he had to go out and see the tombstone of salvador dolly yeah. in his yard it's yeah it's not a question why he's so fucking out there no i mean like, and, that and, would fuck. And, and apparently he didn't even do drugs like this was all yeah. just him this was this all just him as a person he said that, i feel like i am. said that he was drugs and is, that's yeah. why he didn't need them and it's like with some of the shit that he did yeah <laughs> i can see it um yeah, I had I, yesterday. I uh, I ran around because the initial plan was to go <coughs> to that party and other things, but uh, everything falls apart sometimes. Yeah, we can plans. We, we can go ahead and blame Kurt for this. Yeah, one. I'm gonna blame Kurt. Yeah, for just like one. I do for everything else, my incontinence, my incompetence. Yeah, my uh, penis never works around the him. fact my uh, antiperspirant never stays on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was just, just like just melts put it down on my arm. Just, yeah, it melts just right melts away. down my armpits, and I'm like fucking Kurt. <laughs> When you go to put it on, it melts in the thing. Like it, like as soon as it gets like close the ice to cream it. cone where Homer had the yeah. hot peppers on it. Yeah. It's like that, but in your armpits. Yeah. Um, so My spicy, I, spicy armpits. I went to try to do some some spooky things because tis the season, and this is this is the the episode that will air before Halloween, so I think it's fitting. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Happy Halloween, everybody. Yeah, happy Halloween. Sl- do, Slim's do, uh, birthday is the day before Halloween, so if you would like to send uh, some. Uh, festive texts, uh, any type of gifts, cash money my way, feel free to go ahead and send it to uh, 402 Yes, if you would like to send Slim cash money records t-shirts, he wears an XL. Please uh, have it be like the 2000s, like bedazzled pen and pixel one. I, if you gift me, if someone gifts me with a cash money shirt, I will say that it is very cash money of you to do that. Yes, of course. But it is not um, very cash money of you if you do not send me cash money. We will also be in Madison. If you're listening to this the day it comes out on Friday the 26th, we'll be in Madison again tomorrow for some reason. Well, because th- we just don't know how to call well, down. I want to harp on this a second yeah, because true. I have never won anything in my entire life. I've never won a contest, a giveaway. It's weird. I, I've, I, just, I just have always had bad luck with that kind of stuff. Yeah, I've never your won. Your life is bad luck. <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh and so the uh, the Majestic was having a giveaway for their 80s versus 90s dance party. And all you had to do was comment your favorite horror movie and tag three of your magical friends that you would bring out to the evening. So, <coughs> I, so I, of course, always end up tagging you guys and things like that just so we can have an excuse to do shit. And uh, I won a four-pack of VIP tickets, which we will have to regale what that entails because there's yeah. no information about what a VIP pass is. Maybe nope. I get to... Um, 
Maybe I'm gifted with a large-breasted woman, which we also have to harp about on here a little bit. Oh, yeah. Uh, and uh, I got a $50 Ragstock gift card, which is beautiful to me just because Ragstock has been one of my favorite <laughs> stores ever since I discovered it. If you've never been, it's like a – it's like a resale shop, but it's like not old. It's some of it's used, but a lot of it's like just overstock from things. Yeah, uh, you can find like American Eagle stuff in there. Yeah, you it's can gotten find... now. It's gotten more like half normal store, half resale. Because it used to just like that. I remember that one in Madison forever ago, just being like like yeah, vintage store. Yeah, the and f- now it's the f- like a whole line. Well, the first one I ever went to was at uh the one they have in Woodfield Mall, and I was just blown away yeah. when I was in there. Cause, but it's always such a gamble when you go, because depending on what one you go to, you're either gonna find like a million things that you want and can't afford or you're gonna find absolutely nothing yeah uh the, i remember the last time we were at the madison one there was a bunch of stuff that i wanted I yeah saw that's in there. the one i always think because that's the first one i ever went to when i was like a kid i think that was one of like the first ones because now they're everywhere they're yeah. in like the mall of america and there's, there's like a there's inside. one in chicago that we think there's i, more I think we've one. been to that one yeah we went to one on milwaukee uh but i won a 50 dollar rack stock gift card and uh i am just going to use it to buy clothes because daddy hasn't gone on a shopping spree in a little bit so i'm gonna, I'm gonna treat myself a little bit get maybe mm-hmm. get a nice hoodie get some good good looking t-shirts maybe some crew neck yeah. sweaters you know some big jeans get, man no i need smaller jeans i no, need much need smaller get bigger jeans. they just get bigger and bigger you so, get smaller but your jeans get bigger. I, I eventually want to get to the point where i'm so like you know like it, sh- it fit and in shape that it just looks like i'm wearing jankos when i wear my big, big jeans. jeans they are big they're big jeans regardless i wear a 38 34 yeah. do, you know, do you know how hard it is to find a 38 34 pant i wear it uh 32 or 34 and then uh 28 my legs are tiny Interesting. i'm i'm a tall man people tell us now when we're seen in person together that i'm not much smaller than you yeah but w- it's which is, all which is torso. true yeah it's all torso see i'm 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 my legs are actually very short for like the way i'm built my yeah. torso is very yeah, very my long torso is long my legs are literally like i wear 28 maybe that's like, why we get along so well because we both just have long ass torso big torso <laughs> talking big jeans strapped outside of my big torso um I've been balling, could have skipped college with this big torso. I'm a bad papa. Ah, uh, perfect timing. So, um, uh, so if you're gonna be, so if you're listening to this the day of, and you want to come to, uh, come dance the night away with the dads, we're gonna be dressing up. Yeah, uh, it's also Freak Fest in, um, in Madison. Which, whatever the hell episode would correspond of this a year ago, I went to Freak Fest last year. Unfortunately, saw Drum, uh, Kwaku Collins. And some other people. Oh, I saw fucking George Clinton. <laughs> it was horrible. In the Funkadelics? It was, yeah, it was too much. Yeah, no he's one wanted a lot. It. Like that's I seen him at Pitchfork and it was fun and it's fun to watch. But like this is like Freak Fest, like a party. Their lineup this year is one of the worst. It's lineups garbage. I've seen there's only two. Anything. There's only two names I recognize on the bill, and yeah. of those bands, I cannot recall a single song that yeah. I actually know from them. So what we're gonna do? Hot, hot dapper tip for you: if you ever do go to Freak Fest, if it's like good again in the future um it's like 10 or 15 bucks to get to it like go cool. and it's on state street and it starts at like seven if you're on state street before seven it's free yeah so you just walk in there and then you just don't leave like the grounds and you can see the whole thing are we gonna be free. making a day of this like we're probably gonna go up like early morning mid-afternoon yeah we got a time in madison yeah i don't know what the fuck is going on but yeah I'm odds are it's gonna be a day slim is gonna be celebrating his birthday that entire weekend i'm gonna be in madison saturday i'm gonna be in chicago sunday so if you're gonna be in chicago that sunday uh, I'm going to be riding around doing a bunch of different vegan eats with my sister, yep. so that's going to be... Find them and kick them in the dick. Yeah, kick me kick me in the dick and see if you can throw an egg in my mouth. Yeah, kick him in the dick and he turns into smaller slimes that scatter across the city. Fun. It's happened three times before. Yeah, and do you know how hard it is to round up all those oh little slimes? God. That last time? Oh, man, that last one you had to get that net gun for because he just kept, yeah. he greased himself up with a cake and he just kept yeah. running around. It's about 33 slims and 10 of them are pure evil. Yeah, that's where the evil... The, see, the evil's so concentrated inside them see there's 10 that are about pure evil and then there's 15 that are pure good and then the yeah, ones in the those mid- ones are easy to catch the neutral one he's uh he's a weird motherfucker yeah. he just stands there he's the easiest one to catch several of them are really deformed yeah there's some that just look fucked is. up <laughs> but uh i really want to make this into a video just to yeah, skip We're i can just... see it but i have to be as small as the small sorry man when no, I think I, you're, if there's 30 of you, it's smaller than well, that, Well, I'm 60 man. feet tall, so, I mean, there's got to be. Yeah, there's just too much math, and <laughs> we're not and good at that. We, that was not our strong suit. No. Nope. Um, but, yeah, so we'll be up to things. Yesterday, I, yeah, went on went to do some spooky things, which varied. 
uh, me and the old lady went to the uh, Whedon Haunted Flea Market was the okay. first trip. Um, <laughs> Got some interesting photos from that that I saw. Yeah, very exciting. Well, it started off bad. The weather, it was cold as fuck. Very cold. It's fucking cold as shit and so windy. And, like, half of this is outside. Like, of those flea markets where, yeah. like, half of it's in. It's at, like, the fairgrounds. There was that freak snowstorm yesterday, yeah, too. Did you I, get caught in that at all? No, I, I was taking a shower, and I, I mowed the lawn. Thank and it was, God. like, sunny. And, like, it was chilly, but I was wearing shorts and a hoodie. And I got a little warm by the end of mowing the lawn. And I said, man, I hope it gets cold enough soon to kill the grass so this is the last time I have to mow. It was my back lawn. Can't mow the front lawn. It's littered with Halloween props. Yeah, it's That's done just how it is. Um, and then, yeah, I went in, I like was doing shit. And a little bit later I took a shower before I was going to head out and I was looking, I have a window in my shower, which is just constantly awkward. And, uh, I looked out and I was like, what is that? And it was just a few snowflakes. And I was like, oh, I must've jinxed it. And then by the time I got out and went in my room and looked out that window, it was like a blizzard. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God. So what happened to me was I, uh, a recent business that I've started up is I'm selling uh, meat-free barbecue. Yeah. Coke, lots of Coke. Uh, I'm selling meat-free barbecue that I cook, and uh, I had a couple people at work. They wanted to buy some pounds of it, so I'm, I live about I live a couple minutes away from work. So yeah. on my lunch, I just ran back to the house, grabbed it, took a shit at home because you know that's where you're comfortable at. And uh, yeah, you, you know what's the best way to uh, promote you selling food is that you took a huge shit before you delivered it to well, people. Well, it was cooked and packaged before then, well before then. <laughs> sure, uh, you're just on the toilet packing up barbecue. <laughs> Trying to multitask. This it's shit so, takes forever. It's so messy. Why is it all the same color? <laughs> uh, and so uh, I, I had, when I had driven to my house, it was like that weird rain that like not sleet necessarily, but it was like fat little snowflakes with rain yeah. in between it. And I was like, OK, it's getting cold enough. Out. We're getting a little bit of snow. And so I have all the curtains closed in my house when I'm not gone. Don't need people peeking into Slim's mansion, Mm -hmm. Um, seeing all my jewels and valuables, all my Fabergé eggs I have laid out, my rubies, my Fabergé eggs, my diamonds, my my small but elegant sapphire collection. Mm -hmm. Uh, And so I I went to go leave. And, you know, it's nice and it's it's cozy in my house. I'm comfortable. I'm thinking it's just going to be like drizzling out. Everything is blowing sideways when I go outside. Like the snow was sideways. There was trash cans flying down the street. There was um, a piece of gutter I saw just travel down the road, just fly like a javelin down the alley. I was like, huh, interesting. And it's one of those extreme winds where you're like at the stoplight and you feel your car rocking back and forth. And so I'm trying to successfully get back to where I have the wipers up all the way. I was like, this is fucked. And then I walked back into work and this is how – this is how you know it was a straight sideways storm is the left half of my body was covered in snow. The right half of my body was completely dry. Yeah. It, it was, was a – and it, and then it only lasted for like 30, 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. And then the sun came back yeah. out. And it was like gorgeous outside. It was, it was still one of the, fucking cold and windy. It, it was, And that's the thing. And I know this. it's like one of those old Midwestern things to say. But like I can deal with the cold but not the wind. If it's just cold outside, yeah. no wind. Yeah fucking perfect i'll be out in 20 degree weather just wearing a hoodie if there's no wind but if there's wind give me every fucking layer i can put on beef my body up yeah i luckily brought a coat for later in the night but i was rocking a hoodie at this outdoor (coughs) flea market and it was like cool it was the way we went in it started off kind of shitty and people just had like a couple halloween things in addition to all their junk Mm -hmm. and then we finally found the building where like i think you're supposed to come in there first and they had like the f list people from horror movies like this guy there was the big guy from house of a thousand corpse that takes the the thing off and it's the guy like, that that big guy that rob zombie always guy. uses yeah and How, then like, wonder wonder what kind of hundred dollar per diem that guy had. someone from sleepaway camp three i think and like some wrestlers and all i just walked by and looked at all of them and it just looked very sad, sad. but what they did have was sad. um props from horror movies mm-hmm and like at first I thought it was gonna be whack, but they had like the they had the pig mask from Saw. Yeah. They had the fucking one of the Hellraiser outfits from like the second Hellraiser. They had uh one of the props from the blob where the guy's face is like melting in. They had like the prop shotgun from Army of Darkness. Nice. It's like a bunch of sick shit. They also had the fucking whole setup from Human Centipede Three. Really? Yeah. And it was the two people, like two like people with the mouth masks to the ass things. And I was looking at them, I was like, this is incredible. And then the guy motioned that he also had the third mask and he was like, You want to get down there and strap in? And he was like, It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. 
And I was like, uh, no. But I think you, I think it's like I would a have photo done it. op. Yeah. I would have absolutely done Well, there's done so it. many people and it was so tight. And then I was like, is it, it's one of those things where I'm like, are you serious or not? I don't want to yeah. like get on my knees and him and be like, oh, you fucking weirdo. I was just fucking with you. Eh. Which does sound like something the horror movie community would do. No offense yeah. to the horror movie community, but <laughs> no, but a bunch of weirdos out weird there. Weird fucks. Yeah. yeah. Weird. Present old, company included. Weird old white men. It's going to uh, be us someday. Yeah. What's well, already us. We're not old. Uh, debatable we're getting there oh, i feel very old um <coughs> so that was cool overall it was like a pretty decent thing to look around at and then there was another thing i'd found on facebook um well first off i'm like out by saint charles and i found that they have a thing where like you can go to like different addresses and it's like a competition of people decorating their houses for halloween where they have like the christmas light shows yeah it's christmas similar to that but okay. it's more spread out and like that's right up my alley so that's the first thing i went to and we seen a couple houses and then i wanted to come back later when it was dark because some of them are like haunts and you can walk through them and they have actors some of them so the kind have... of shit you're aspiring to get to with oh your hell house. yeah well yeah i don't do it because no one gives a fuck where i live i would really love uh, a year from now to do like a dapper dad's haunted house oh, like a designer too. own haunted house and shit like that oh hell yeah but um so this comes into play later so we looked at a couple of them two of them were fucking incredible and i was like we got to come back when it's dark because i know it's going to be even better so then fast forward we're going i seen this thing on facebook in naperville called all hollows eve and it's like twenty dollars a person, and it appears to be just a bunch of haunted houses. But like a lot of Facebook events nowadays are written to where you're like, I don't really know what this is. Yeah, they don't they, they don't give cool. enough detail no, these days. Nothing does. So I'm like, I'm gonna go and see. So twenty bucks a person, forty bucks. Get in there. There's lines, insane lines. There's so many people. There's so many shitty kids everywhere. Yeah. So there's these buildings and like it doesn't really say what anything is there's just lines and shit so we did a lap and then finally i seen like a building with like a shorter line that was moving so i'm like let's just jump in this and see so of course it's one of those lines where like you get right up to the door and they're like we're we're at capacity so it's like 15 20 minutes waiting in this line no idea what it's gonna be finally the door opens so many people come out so i'm like at least we know we're getting in so we go in there it's a fucking classroom so i instantly i'm like this is swag. And while I'm standing there, I'm looking at the building. And I'm like, this is clearly like a one room building. So yeah. it can't even be what I want when I go to a haunted house is to walk through some shit and people pop out and scare you. Yeah. I don't want. So you go in and it's a classroom. So I sit like against the wall and this over dramatic guy, of course, comes in and he's like, looks like old timey. Everything looked old timey. And mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I don't like old timey shit. So he's like just being real loud and telling this fucking long drawn out story. And the only thing that like startling happens is he has a cane and he smacks like a old oven or something like tin real loud, which isn't again. That's not what I want. I don't want to just hear loud noises. I want to be scared. And he's like just being real over dramatic, getting in kids faces. Then I realized towards the end he was telling the story so bad. It's just the fucking Edgar Allan Poe beating heart story. So I'm like, are you for real? Yeah. And it's so drawn out and it wasn't, I couldn't even like follow the story because it's just, it's one of those things where they keep repeating different parts mm-hmm. and he's banging shit. It was garbage. I was so pissed. So you got tricked into seeing a play pretty much. Yeah. A play Aww. by like an art school dropout Aww. while kids make snickering comments Aww. in a classroom. And you know, I hate school. Aww. I hate school even more. So I got out of that and I'm like, fuck this. And the one thing that they had that I really wanted to check out, they built H.H. H. Holmes Murder Castle. Mm. And I'm like, that's the thing. That's tight, yeah. So I seen it and they even have it look like it's under construction and it is a big, it's like the biggest building there. So I'm like, that must be one you walk through. That is sick. I like that shit. So walk over to that. There's a sign that says, from this point, the line will take two hours. Jesus fucking Christ. So I was like, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, it didn't come to just stand in line. Phone battery's going to die in the time you got away. It would have been closed. It, we got there at like eight walked around it was like 8 30 when i looked at that and they said it was done at 10 so i'm like can i even fucking i'm not gonna stand in a line for anything for two hours just to be told you gotta leave because it's no. over. and then like i tried to go in like a frankenstein one and then while i'm standing there in that line i'm like this is gonna be it's another fucking play it's just frankenstein's monster it's gonna be garbage and we got up to that one at the door and they we were the people that cut off so i was like i just walked out of the line I'm like, fuck this what we did see was they had a stage and there was a guy 
and he was like, this is my last thing. It's it's something I learned a long time ago. It's my biggest trick. So I'm like, let's fucking watch it. Yeah, let's fucking it's a go, fire boys. eater. Ooh. And I was like, this pretty, that's always impressive to yeah. me. Because, yeah, he had, like, the two things. <coughs> he's, like, eating the fire, and then he spit the shit out. Mm-hmm. And then it was weird. It's just gasoline. They just put gasoline yeah. in their mouth and do it. And it was weird because he's, like, a grown man that was very odd looking. And uh, Well, he's a fire eater. Though. Well, yeah, when he eat, was eating the fire, his tummy kept peeking out at the bottom. And then <coughs> it's a lot of. It's a lot of kids watching this. And then he goes, that's it. I have another show at 9.30. Come back and see it. And he's like, also, you might have noticed I have two tongues. If everyone wants to come to the edge of the stage, I'll show you my tongues. So all these children walk up. Oh, yeah. And I'm just watching it. And I'm like, this is a weird thing. Because he has weird his thing. mouth closed. And then he finally does the reveal. And he just has a split tongue. I've seen it on normal people yeah. before. Like, it's not crazy. And everyone's like, ooh, look at this grown man's two split well, tongues. When you're a kid, that stuff impresses Maybe. you. you know? <laughs> but uh, If you're a kid that's never seen a split tongue, you're like, holy shit. And then you floss dance because it's 2018. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How many fucking kids were floss, floss dancing? The they were all garbage. All of those yeah, kids were garbage. Kid, well, I hate, to be, I hate to be the bearer of obvious know, news here, but all I children know, are garbage. I know, but they were worse than normal. Well, yeah, because they're in Halloween stuff, so they're all rowdy and amped up, eating all that Halloween that's, candy, getting full of sugar like and that. shit. So then I'm like, this is bullshit. I'm going to just call it a loss and go look at these St. Charles houses because it's got to be better than this. And I'm like, it should have said somewhere that it's old timey. We walk out and on the front of the building, huge banner that says All Hallows Eve with like a spooky face on it. At the bottom, small print, a 19th century horror experience. And I'm like, if I just seen that banner before I went in, I would have never like, would have gone. Fuck this. None of this is scary. It's just people yelling at you, old timey plays and shit. Well, to simpler times back in the 19th century. Bullshit people, times. people were scared by yelling. Yeah, but it's fucking 2018. I, I mean, want to yeah, see someone get their head cut off or something. I mean, you know, primitive people, you know, saw solar eclipses and thought that it was God being mad at them and they died of fear. And uh, in the 19th century, just when, yelling and uh, smacking things was what really <laughs> riled up the blood. I forgot about this, but when we were at Prof, we ran into a buddy of mine, Bacon. Shout Good, out Bacon. Shout out Bacon. No, he doesn't fu- listen to this. I know. But, but, uh, me and Bacon were singing along to a couple of songs. Yeah, that was a he lot was of getting fun. Wild. He told me, I can't even remember how we talked. Oh, because the lights at the prop show were unbelievable. When they'd hit you in the eyes, so I'm glad bright. it stopped after like the first two sets. Because it was like, it was blinding. I told Cole I didn't know what to do because I couldn't look at it. And <laughs> Bacon goes, yeah, this shit's horrible. It reminds me when I look directly at <laughs> the solar eclipse. And I was like, that's the one thing you weren't supposed to do. And he's like. I know, but then you want to do it. So I looked at it, and for a day, I kept seeing all these colors. I'm not gonna lie, my my vision hasn't been the same ever since. Huh? So <laughs> what you're telling like, me? I pictured him to just pull out like huge glasses, like, like big, thick yeah. bubbles glasses. Like, yeah, it hasn't been the same since. <laughs> Put on like goggles of glass. Oh, God. Um, poor Bacon. R.I.P. Bacon's vision. So cut the losses with this fucking horrible bullshit Naperville All Hallows Eve. Fuck it. Don't ever go to it. And, like, there'll be time to hit some St. Charles houses, and hopefully it'll make up for it. So, driving around, there was, like, a couple that we've seen. One had, like, actors come out to your car. And that's, like, I like that shit because, like, they can't, like, interact with you. But the kid just, like, was very creepy and looked at us and did, like, the throat slit thing. And then when you drive away, like, ran at you. And I'm like, that's good for, like, a house that you drive by. Like, yeah. that's incredible. And then there was another one that, like, had an actual haunt, but it was packed and we couldn't see, like, where to go. So then there's one address that pull up and it's like one with numbers and letters okay. so i'm like this is real far away like it's 10 minutes from where we were which isn't bad but it was like out in the country and i'm like running out of time and i'm like man if this one is like shitty and we drive all the way out and then we miss like other good ones so we finally get there and right when you start driving by it there's like a separate <coughs> house that has like a tv in the window that's distorted and they have all these lights on it and you keep going and there's it just looks like a fucking raging party there's a fire there's a clown on a stripper pole there's inflatable things sexy clown there's no a man Hmm. sexy man sexy man (laughs) um but there's like all this shit like it looks like a fucking party and there's cars parked everywhere so i was like is this like a person's party this is it's on the list of things you can go see can we go up to it so then I circle the block, and then behind it, on the back of their house, they have, like, a giant projectile skull on the back of the house. Like, all this shit. Like, everything I love. So I, like, circle around, come back, and there's a guy standing out front, and he has, like, one of those, like, pumpkin pails with, like, candy in it. And he's talking to someone in a car coming the opposite direction. And they drive away, and he comes up, roll the window down, and he goes, you guys got kids? And we're like, no. And he goes, you over 18? We're like, yeah. And he's like, all right, it's free to come in here. Just walk. Everything's free. Look around. It's cool. We got it set up. It's like, if you're over 21, $10 unlimited beer and food. 
So I'm like, what? You've 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 piqued my interest, sir. We'll be in in a moment. So you've piqued my interest, but now you have my curiosity. We go and park, and then we walk in, and the first thing you have to walk through like one of those tunnels, and it has like the fake floor that's kind of like a, a rope bridge where yeah. it like falls. And I'm like, okay, I'm getting into this. Walk through that, come up. They're playing Mask Off, loud as fuck. What? Censored. All the songs were censored. Well, yeah. But I'm like holy shit and it doesn't like i look at the dj and it looks like a 45 year old white dude who didn't even know what that was it's gonna be us someday and then uh the guy who like told us to come in comes up he's shit faced when i roll the window down it just smells like alcohol so he comes over and he's like you guys want the tour and we're like yeah so he takes us around and they there's so much attention to detail they have what had to have been a 30 foot giant like web with huge spiders and bones and arms like like there's like people were getting everywhere bit, yeah like. there's lights everywhere there's anima huge animatronics they have like so giant like this schools. is obviously somebody who's got this a ton is, of money and yeah, loves halloween it's some uh like restoration company like fire and damage fire and water damage restoration mm -hmm. he's telling us it's not him he doesn't live there he's just a friend because he's like this is my animatronic we had so many kids coming over earlier that i had to turn them off because they were scaring them that's why i asked if you had kids that i just give people candy now and i tell them to keep it moving we're not doing kids anymore uh, my kind of guy because it's like 9 30 at that time and so he takes us all around like there's so much shit and like i know how much some of this shit costs because mm -hmm. i like putting props up and this is like crazy huge house huge spot they have a, a fire going and then we walk over and they have like an outdoor bar with like lighting it's stocked bar stools it looks fucking crazy and then he's like when we're walking up to it he's like yeah like i said it's ten dollars uh if you uh if you want to get a wristband and get some drinks are you willing and i was like fuck, fuck yeah. yeah and at one point he like walked us way over to the side and it felt like a horror movie like they were going to like, that's what they do is get people in there and then they kill you because he just mm. took us like way down to show it, us the back of the house. But it felt really weird. <laughs> and then I then this he, is how you die. I just want to. Oh, yeah. That out well, right that's now. what I was a, a lure of unlimited beer and food in a haunted house. Yeah, that is how you're that's gonna literally die. what I said last night. I was like, there'll be shit where people are like, oh, I know this kid who's throwing a party. It's, you know, over on, on the east side. And I'll be like, I don't know, that could be sketchy. But if someone's like, big haunted experience with uh, be free beer, I'm like, yeah, I'll, <coughs> if I die like that, sign me up that's twice. Perfectly fine. So, yeah, we get wristbands. I got carded by the lady. She's like, you're the same age as my daughter. Gives us wristbands, take us over. Was this. she hot? I. I don't think so. I don't remember for some reason. I wasn't drunk. I had, I wasn't you even. Were, you were just yesterday. so excited. Yeah, I was blown away. Like I cannot emphasize like how unbelievable it felt. It felt fake. It still feels fake. And I was there for hours. So we go over. The guy's pumping the keg, pours us two beers, and then he's like, "With the wristband, it's included with our catering." We go over to a separate man who has a spread of chicken and steak tacos and other things in like huge tins, and he's got like he's like, "Whenever you're ready, I'll be happy to whip you something up." What? They're playing fucking bangers. They're playing like this is like heaven. This, this is, is literally what heaven is. I was so upset that it wasn't the dad squad because we would have because then the guy he's like showing us the the porta potties. They have lights in the porta potties. He's introducing us to the DJ. The DJ's playing Truffle Butter by Lil Wayne and Drake. Oh, playing I'm in love with the stripper by T Pain. There's a woman on the strip pole, dressed like Marilyn Monroe, pulling her dress up and showing her ass and her underwear. And she's like older, heaving breasts. So what you're saying is this is, a, this is a dad squad destination for next year. Yeah, if they do it again, I don't know how they get away with it. It was so loud. And like the, the guy goes, uh, if you're drinking, so drive safe. If not, we have tents over here. Just be nice to them. What? It's like the most what is this? hospitality I've ever experienced. Yeah, this is an insane. Like, I consider myself a hospitable person, but this is like a whole insane. other level. And Marilyn Monroe was the like the wife of the like the husband and wife the people mm -hmm. who own the house who do all this shit and she's just like showing her ass she's grabbing guys there's another lady with her ass hanging out dressed like a cat it was fucking crazy so i get beers and sitting by the fire smoking cigarettes just i couldn't even take it in because i was just like this is insane i literally pulled up thinking we were going to like drive by a house and look at it and appreciate it maybe it would be something we could walk through and it'd mm -hmm. be spooky it's a fucking raging party ten dollars unlimited beer and food if you want a shot or a mixed drink two dollars a piece Stupid. anything 
anything so, you want. This was God making up for the 19th century experience. Yeah, that's that you what had I said. I was like, I so I spent sixty dollars between the forty at that thing and twenty to get two wristband at that. Sixty dollars, even was that is worth sixty bucks. Just like the if, experience, if, like if, literally. If the guy was like six, if the, if the guy was like sixty bucks to get in here, unlimited beer, food, everything, yeah. I'd be like that's that's still fair. But that's what I couldn't even take like full advantage of it. We were there for like probably two hours, but like if it would have, yeah, that's what I mean. If I would have known that that was a thing, because it started at four. The mm-hmm. guy who gave us the tour was shit face the whole time but it was like and everyone was super nice those things always like trip me out because i feel like you brush shoulders with someone and they're like everybody's pissy and you get two drunk people Mm -hmm. everybody was like incredibly nice i didn't talk to a ton of people but like everyone seemed to be having like the perfect time and not being shitty and just getting drunk the dj was playing fucking bangers and then he played like cha-cha slide and then like highway to hell or like topical things but like still that. man the, thriller the, the amount of bangers but yeah he was i wish i could remember he played in my feelings by drake which was in that moment in the moment like, is good yeah like he was playing so much shit that i was just like i can't even believe that i can't I believe need you, any i need you to make happened. mental note of this so that we can so that the dad squad can go i out found it on maker. facebook because then i remembered when i was looking for shit i found that event but it looked like it looks like someone's just having a party like yeah you shouldn't be there like you wouldn't be allowed and no it's free if you don't drink it's literally free to just come there and just hang kick out it. It, ten dollars i drink four cups of beer but i could drink a lot more yeah if we showed up at like five or six or something yeah. like that whole dad squad stay till 10 11 o'clock that's what i mean like that guy was shit facing there were other guys who were just like talking loudly and you could tell we're crazy drunk but yeah like to throw something like that because it was like a huge property too like you walked around and there was so many there was four motorcycles with skeletons on them just parked for decoration this just sounds Shit like it sounds like you're making all of this it up i'm not felt gonna like lie i was you. making it up while i was there like god like was just dream. pulling things out like of your brain that you wanted and it was like this is heaven you don't have to leave you don't have responsibilities oh, man. like it was literally it was one of the most insane things i've just stumbled upon like out in the middle of nowhere in saint charles and fucking i can't i can't get over it the whole night when we left i just kept talking about it i was like i can't believe that that happened it was beautiful so shout out to them i did find it on facebook and what's funny is it's it's one of those things where it's like eight people went 11 people were interested and it says like yeah ten dollars for unlimited drinking food come have a good time but like rsvps for next year man yeah i don't know like i said i feel like they aren't supposed to do it because it was very loud and there were neighbors and shit and it was so bright and people had to have left fucked up like when when we got there people were walking out it was a couple like drunkenly arguing and i was like yeah it must be good in there they got so drunk that they hate each other which is perfect yeah that's that great level of drunk but yeah it fucking blew me away it was beautiful i wish i i wish i was there i'm I very just, happy but i wish i was there yeah i wish it was something that they just did all the time i just like, wish we were there right now i know i would go back i wouldn't give up everything to be back at that party and really take advantage, sleep in the tent, fucking oh, just yeah. get blackout drunk. Get the whole the dad tent. squad in the tent. Which is funny because he's like, be nice <clears> to the <throat> tent. And then they had like huge like logs for the fire at like the circumference circumference of a small tree. And someone threw one on there and it knocked one. And it, it was one that had been burning for a while. And the whole ground was a slope. So it started slowly rolling towards the tent. And then it was picking up momentum. And this guy had to run over and kick it right before the tent. And all I could think is that guy going, yeah, if you use the tents, be nice to him. And then just the flaming log oh, rolling into rolls him. Out. It catches it on fire. Catches another tent on fire. All the decorations. Everything's on the fire. The inflatable things. Are Marilyn Monroe's on fire. Still yeah. showing her ass. Yeah, she was. Uh, Married to the game. I didn't want to interact with her because everyone she interacted with, she was touching a lot and yeah. that's what he goes that's that's judd's wife which i thought he said that's the judge's wife and i was like I don't even know saucier means. and he was like she said she's getting laid tonight don't tell judd and i was like i don't i don't want to have sex with that woman <laughs> and i feel like i have to because you guys have been so nice it'd be rude not to at least offer your dick for everything that they gave you i mean i don't know if it's i don't know if my dick is worth that no nah, it's not worth 10 bucks i've heard <laughs> stories yeah, I usually have to pay. Your, your Ottoman son told me all about it. Oh, I thought we were going to kill it. <laughs> well, he is, uh, he's about as fast as uh, Evil Slim, let me tell you. Oh, if they get together? Oh, oh my little, God. Little Evil Slim riding your Ottoman son? That's a horseman of the apocalypse right there. <laughs> they just fall in love and are super gay, Ugh. having real weird sex. Well, of course they're having weird sex. A little Slim is like this tall, and then yeah. the Ottoman is, I assume, the size of a log that was thrown onto the fire. Yeah. But just real wide. And yeah, soft. Man, super wide. I don't like the idea of your your hypothetical son fucking my hypothetical son. So when I get kicked in the dick, they're my sons. I, yeah, 
I don't know. It's just hard to even. I, it was okay, my understanding small, they were pieces of my persona. That a small version of you fucking. Like Your Ottoman, Ottoman deformed son. Ottoman son? Yeah, I guess this is really hard to Love explain. is love. Why do you got to be like this? It better not be the evil one or one of the deformed ones. Mm, if I have I an Ottoman like the deformed, deformed, deformed one is going to have to hook up grandson. with your deformed Ottoman. <laughs> oh, my God. This is a sentence imagine I didn't think fuck. I'd be imagine saying. Imagine the fucking holidays. <laughs> Having them have to come over. I have to have take to that get to it. my grandma's. Well, I mean, like if, but I mean, technically, my evil little persona is bringing his own chair, so it's not like he has to think of a place to sit. No, if so, now my son is property to your. <laughs> he's small. Piece he's part of you. chair. He's half property. I'm gonna kick him. You, I'm you also can. well. Then I'm kicking your son. No, I was gonna kick my son. Oh, well, then I'll, real I'll, kickable. Then, then I, well, you think little evil Slim isn't kickable? That guy's super kickable. I want to kick children. I want to. This kick is that how we can so. see how many children we can fight, but they're all pieces of you mm. child-sized versions of you mm. i feel like i could still, t- still take them all i know their all moves but oh, they yeah. know my moves yeah and they're gonna and the evil up. ones fight dirty they go straight for the dick <laughs> i think they all go straight for the dick even the good ones yeah they're except like, for we the know new- what we'd have to do and then they just punch <laughs> in your dick hi my name's slim and just punches <laughs> and just punch and grope punch you're and grope. like we all we know your name's slim we're all named slim the evil ones are yelling at the nice ones whoa slim Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to upset you. <laughs> and the evil ones are slitting the throats of the good ones. Well, I mean, they're evil. Of course they are. You, for some reason, think you're one of the small ones. <laughs> and you're like, all, and I'm like, you are you. <laughs> and you're like, well, what are they? And I'm like, they're also you, but they're you the You think I'm not going to get a psychosis seeing yeah. like 30 little me's running around? And now I have to do the show with one of the good ones. Mm, but I'm also like, one of the evil ones. Yeah. Well, they're all both. That's, That's going to be a Patreon episode. <laughs> yeah. It's you. Drama interviews the little Slims. <laughs> Are the voices high pitched? I like to think that they ni- low pitched for some reason. Low pitched for the evil, high, high pitched for the nice ones. No, so I the- think it should be high pitched for the evil, low pitched for the good ones. So it's always confusing. Like the dynamic is always thrown yeah. off. Like the like the good They're ones like, are I'm always here to spread love, and the I'm evil here. ones are like, "I'm gonna kill you." <laughs> so the little ones are like Chucky dolls. Yeah, everything that's small and evil is a Chucky doll. Pretty much, yeah. That's what uh, society has done to us because you know we live in a society. I don't. I live off the grid. <laughs> We want to get into some submissions here. Might as well. Do we want to do the voicemail first? Uh, sure. I'll go ahead and load it up. Uh, Otherwise, I have the other ones ready to rock. I'll go ahead and pull this voicemail up. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier in the show, we uh, got a voicemail from our good friend Michelle. Thank you so much. Well, like we said in the previous episode, we were looking for some uh, pizza bagel bite jingles, and uh, this one honestly should have. We should have come up with this. I'm shocked that we didn't. <laughs> I love that someone came up with this for it. I know. No, I do want to say that she was uh, actually very scared that you would not like the song for some reason. She was like, I just feel like Drama's going to hear it and he's going to think it's stupid. And I'm like, what do you I think, think you're trying to impress Drama for? Everybody thinks I hate everyone and everything. And it's not the case. No, you're actually, completely. you're a very loving person. Yeah, you're very I considerate. Try. You're very considerate I hate of other a lot people. of people. I don't, don't let it, don't get the, it wrong. The people you love, you're very considerate oh, yeah. and kind. And if story. you listen to this and submit things, I love Love you for it. So uh, I'm not that critical about songs. So this is from a dear friend of the show. Uh, I am. I guarantee you, she is going to turn it off when she listens mm-hmm. to this because she cannot stand the sound skips. of her voice. Hey, dads. Um, this is as my favorite people like to call me the crazy Bob Barker cat lady. Love you guys' show. Listen to it all the time. Um, I've got a little jingle that I wrote up for you guys. Please excuse the singing. I kind of suck at it. But here we go. Dapper, dad's in the morning, dad's in the evening, dad's at supper time. When dads are the stapper, you could have podcasts anytime. Dads during prime time, anytime's the right time. Dads that go down so fine, so fine, so fine, so fine. When dads are the stapper, you could have podcasts anytime. Hope you enjoy, guys. Bye. Thank you. That so was much. that was beautiful. I love that so much. I love. And the... she immediately followed it up with a text. Do you have the text? I yeah, can't remember I remember what it said, it. but uh, it was just like, let, "Let's go ahead." And I'm pull sorry this up. or something. Uh, it just said, "I regret nothing." Dot dot dot, which uh, was replied to with a sensational. Yeah, which I like to think it was future. Oh, it was. I was gonna uh, send it, but I don't know if everyone knows what future. And looks I feel like. I feel bad that she's not confident about it. You know, because yeah. like that's the first time someone's done like a personalized song oh, for yeah. us. Like a, like it feels like a very personal gift someone yeah. gave us. You know, and it's incredible. And she 
said, I feel like maybe you're being nice, but I will take it. And it's like, girl, that was fantastic. Yeah. That was that, that was, was one of the best submissions. I, ever what, so the pro, here's what happened, though. Uh, I was getting ready for a job interview and I was ironing. Uh, I was ironing a shirt and I got a phone call from an unknown number. And I've been getting lots of phone calls from unknown numbers because I've been applying for mm. jobs. So I answered it and I said, hello. And she goes, um, uh, he- hello. I was like, uh, yeah, this is Slim. Slim. What can I do for you? She was like, oh, I was uh, I was trying to leave a voicemail. And I was like, oh, you're calling the Dapper Dad's line. This is odd. I'm going to go ahead and hang up so you can leave your voicemail. <laughs> and then just hung up the phone promptly. Yeah. So uh, wh- so when you called, I was in uh, sweatpants and a wife beater ironing a dress shirt. So uh, we made sure we fixed that issue. So we Yeah, that was uh, – we were we were trying to d- work on the number for taking live calls. And we uh, we turned off the thing that sends it directly to the voicemail. But it is fixed, so call 402-7-DAPPER. That's 402-732-7737 and leave us a voicemail. It will go directly to voicemail. If you think you can top that uh, – Dapper Dad's yeah. Pizza Bagel jingle. I'd like yeah, to fucking hear it. Yeah, now I want more it. jingles because the, the pressure is on. Yeah, that's that's some voicemails I want to start getting. I do t- like um, the part the reference is. Does that mean that we're going down on people or we're being go- gone down on? Is uh, that, I is think that it's inter- I, I think it's interchangeable, but regardless, we go so down. So we're 69ing. Yeah, f- uh, well, or 96ing, which is where you just mm. turn backs and go to sleep. That's the best because then there's not a little butthole right on your nose. It happens. You know? I mean, it does happen I mean, if, I mean, if you're going for it, you got to go for it. You, you got to go for it. I don't like. Um, Giving and receiving at the same time. I I'd rather. I fucking love it. I enjoy the shit. See, out of I it. can't focus. I like to. Uh, I'll do you. You do me my, separately. I like it, but my problem is the neck thing, especially when like. Mm. It's, so like, I gotta, gotta get a prop it up. With yeah, I gotta get a couple of pillow. But man, there's nothing better than when you get those pillows propped up just right and everything's going just right, man. If uh, that's how I'm gonna know I'm in heaven, I'm gonna wake up at this crazy Halloween party with a perfect 69 going oh, on. Oh God! In front of everybody <laughs> with Judd's wife. And it's us. <laughs> It's you. Yeah, suddenly. <laughs> See, it probably doesn't work with the pillows to suck a dick. Yeah, I feel so like we'll that's got to gotta, figure it out. I mean, you got to be like really talented or have like a crazy good gag reflex. Yes, if you you're, have to be really talented. If you're 69, if you're, your if you're 69 with a dude on top, that is. Yeah, I know. I always that's a terrifying. About, I always wanted to just go to that. It's like first time hooking like up with flip a girl. Him over. Just get on top of her and be like, whoa. <laughs> like this is the only way I can eat it, right? <laughs> this is the this is the style I perfected. It's an art. Yeah. I think you'll My agree. My butthole on your nose. <laughs> I mean, hey. I mean, My the, equal opportunity employer. It's a, it's a, it's a give and take situation. We are an equal opportunity fade catching establishment. I've been told 69 on your side. I never got around to trying. I feel it. like the problem with that is like keeping one leg propped up the whole time. Because I mean, like if you got you a, just put it over her head and squeeze. Yeah, but then yeah, then you're putting somebody in a leg lock, and uh, if we're it's, all in like if somebody, in that situation. If, if somebody's getting put if somebody's getting put into a leg lock by me, it doesn't end well. Mm, probably not. So big thighs, big. big old, you still have your big jeans on. Got my big thighs and my big jeans. <laughs> the only way you fuck is in your big jeans. I mean, that's the it only makes way you feel get, bigger. It's the only way I can get aroused is if I'm wearing my big jeans. That's the only way I get aroused is seeing you in your big jeans. Well, I'll make sure I wear some big jeans out to Madison this Saturday because <sighs> Daddy's trying to get lucky. I can't be that hard for that long. Uh, let's, I basically can't. Let's harp on the uh, oh, yes. the other text. So uh, let me go ahead. Here, and... I have it here too because I wanted you. We got a nickname. I think we should go nickname for this. Yes. Um, Let's see. Yeah, I have it right here. It's well. Initially, what happened is, uh, you know, Slim has been Slim has been looking for a, a particular thing, been asking during the podcast if anyone would be willing to uh, send us some breasts. Yes. And uh, you know, sometimes you you put something on the universe, and uh, it comes right back. What, to you. what I would like to what I would like to note is that the day before we received this, we had a uh, we had our monthly HRPR meeting that we have as a brand. Uh, and I was told that I need to stop asking for the breast because it was, it was starting to come across excessive. as creep. Yeah. And, and I'll agree with it. Yeah. it. It was just something. Over time. It, 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 it become... was just one of those things I was harping on. You know, I mean, we, we all do shit that we sometimes put into overdrive. We, we overkill things sometimes, yeah. you know? That's all we do, actually. Yeah, that's pretty much the antithesis of my personality if we're going to yeah. get down to it. Uh, and so I woke up the next morning, and, the, and it, like most people, first thing I do, I roll over, check the time, check all my notifications on my phone. And um, I have two texts from you, all capitals. Bro, did you look at the chat line? Also, don't respond, which peaked, woke me up yeah. right away, piqued my interest. And I look, and uh, I, I'm sure we can't clip this into the video or anything. Nope. Uh, but there was a, I want to say, a fantastic pair of breasts with uh, pierced nipples sent to the dad chat. Which was yeah, also we, don't, interesting. we don't have to just no. fully describe them for everyone. Oh, no, we have to. I have to point out that they're pierced because that's what's beautiful about it. And they're... 
they're a good what's what's crazy about this is that she sent the face too what i was picturing when we would get breasts to the chat line is that it would just be just oh, yeah. breasts yeah. you know i was what i was really hoping for was i love slim on All the right, breasts. Well, you're harping on it again. i know but that's Dial just, it back. I, i'm real it in if you want to give why, slim if you want to give slim something for his birthday that is why i said don't respond because if you uh if you get Slim too excited and let him off his leash, who the fuck knows? I'm, what I'm will like be one said of those dogs. I'm yeah, I'm like one of those dogs that's been chained up in the yard for a while, yeah. and then he finally pulls the post out and just mm-hmm. goes crazy in the neighborhood, yeah. fucking all the other dogs and digging holes Biting and everything. eating trash and all kinds of shit. Like yeah. literally me. So, and then I I want to jump in here and emphasize because this comes up all the time with different submissions and stuff. We record usually one week in advance. So when you're listening to the podcast <laughs> on Friday, we're recording that evening. So if you submit in like, I never can even figure out how to tell people, but in a certain time, if you submit like right after, like on Saturday and after, then the next episode comes out and people are like, why wasn't my submission? So it'll be like two weeks before you hear your submission. Yeah, it's just very weird. So we've never not done a submission. Everything we get, we talk about, but we get people all the time or people comment on different things and it's confusing because we record a week out. Mm -hmm. So that's what happened with... um, what was the what was the name here that we want to use? Uh, we, yeah. Trophy thought. Yeah. So trophy thought. Shout out to you. That's the. She also gave us her her government name, but not I the feel full like government not name, but full a government, government name. But more than I expected. She also referred to them as breasticles in the text, which yes. I would like to say. Uh, uh, but yeah. So there was confusion. She thought we got some wonderful breasts, and we're just gonna gloss over that but no we that been that, wait because literally it was the morning after yeah, we, we don't want to harp on it but yeah. we, we it, it is the, the one of the and best so she, things that has she been wanted said. a shout out i wasn't we weren't gonna go if you want to send anything it's not we don't have to put it on blast um but yeah she was sad that we we didn't shout her out and this is the episode we told her we would so yes trophy thought which is the nickname i asked if you wanted to Wanted to go by a nickname, and that and was that's the one what that we was didn't offered, pick it. So. That's what she gave us. She what also, her roommate calls. She also informed us that uh, she said, "Thanks to y'all, we have the Pizza Bengals song stuck <laughs> in our heads." But I got it stuck in her head, and she yelled at me, "LMFAO!" So not only see, it, the, I have <laughs> been told by several people the Pizza Bagel thing it like ruined their life. Yeah, so it's, it's we are one of my I, favorite I was, things. I was done. told at the party last night that the Pizza yes. Bagels thing ruined pretty much everybody's mm-hmm. day because they could so not get it out of their head. It brings me uh, comfort knowing that it's not just ruining my life. Yeah, and, uh, it's spread to everyone that listens to this. So pizza, pizza. Pizza in the evening, pizza at supper time. When pizza's on a bagel, you can eat pizza anytime. What? Okay, and I want a small heart back to uh, Michelle's voicemail. There, she got the second verse down, yes. down pat, and that's yes. one of those like tongue twister verses. Yeah, we had there. we had to listen to it like five times to figure it out. Yeah, because there's over, there's over two days. There's some John Popper level fastness to that tongue in that song, man. Yeah. So uh, shout out to everything that was just talked about the, the voicemail, it. the boobs, the pizza bagels. <laughs> Everything's, the trifecta. Everything's honest. fantastic. Yeah. Everything's going good. You guys. Everything are, is awesome. You guys are wonderful fans. We, we love, we love every single person. If you, if you've ever submitted anything fucked with us at all, we yeah. even fucking if you just love listen. you to death. Um, which also I do want to say, not not to harp on it, but uh, the uh, trophy thought submission was after hearing it for the first time. That, yeah, that is somebody one who episode and thought it. This is a go to. This is something I so, have to do. They felt compelled after one episode, one episode. to do this. Yeah. I've got people who've been listening to the show since day one that and won't send me their anything. breasticles. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, thank you everybody, and we have uh, another submission here. Um, which I got uh, on what was that? The way back from Madison, or yeah, the way back from Madison. Yeah, and I want to say th- this in a, is in the Taco Bell drive-through. It is directed at me, and mm-hmm. I want to. So when I got home, I hopped in, took a quick shower, put on my house coat, slipped into bed. I was nice and cozy, and then I get this submission sent to me. Why don't you go ahead and read this off? Because it is a tongue twister. It is from Cherry Kitty. The email is spankmedaddy at kittykitty dot com. And the uh, kitty's got claws. The submission is how fast can fast finger slim finger when fast finger slim is finger and fast uh, well uh i don't want to harp on it or anything like that but uh i there have been it can s- start a fire it can start a fire uh i can also go places very quick if i'm just using my fingers which is a lot of weight yeah. to pull uh well, imagine all those I, little slims I, running around on their fingers i will <laughs> that's horrifying <laughs> think about it. like you're just like we're pissing in an alley in chicago and we just turn they're all just running ahead will of you on their hear fingers. something at first you just hear like what's that yeah and then it's just louder like and louder, except it's a bunch of little slims. They put up those Target Target Slim flyers, how it has the Target rats with the 
thing in every alley. Uh, so, <laughs> Mock that. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to harp on this and you know uh, brag about my game or anything like that. But there have been at least a small handful of instances where I've been told, "Oh, so that's why they call you Fast Finger Slim." I mean, yeah, with a name like that. I feel like uh, to really, pr- how fast can Fast Finger Slim finger when Fast Finger Slim is fingering fast? Uh, th- to to do this properly, I feel like I need a test group of fingerable. Oh no! See, you always no. Well, I mean, that, for, okay. So if we're I doing this, is, okay. If we're doing what, this, what is I, a, no, I've got it. I've okay, already got okay, it. Okay, let's let's hear yours. Okay. Let's see if it's what I'm in line with. It's uh, those fake pussies, and it has some. It has to have some sort of metric in it, some sort of system, like because what do you be like able this? To count. Uh, I mean, de- depends on what I'm working with. There, I'm, I'm usually I'm usually a one finger guy. Yeah, but, but I, you're doing this motion. I like getting the two in you're there. You're doing yeah. this motion. Yeah. So I, yeah, I, like, I prefer this because you can like. Reach it's like a, it just falls into your hand. Right. You know? Yeah. You get, just, a, real you get a good one grip and on there. Yeah. Just, yeah. And you can use the thumb on the other side. Oh fuck yeah. yeah! That's my fucking guy. <laughs> I know what you're doing. Oh, hell yeah. I learned from wiping your ass. <laughs> <That's>, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, time out for a second. I am now picturing, because I already have to picture you standing up wiping your ass. I'm picturing you with the toilet paper on your finger just really quicking yeah, up. Your in ass. The, yeah, I mean, uh, we weren't you supposed know to. what it feels we're like. We're supposed to tell people you wipe That's my what, ass. That's for me. <laughs> about ripping through the toilet paper? Of course I do. Have you seen what I'm doing? Yeah, well, but I can't thinking, see. You're behind me. What I'm thinking is some sort of like touch sensor so that. Every time you, you know what I mean? Like a I clicker. Like, like be, there's got to be a clicker yeah, up in there. But I, I feel like it has to be more of like a touch screen, some sort of sense. <laughs> like a literal <laughs> clicker, like when there's capacity at a bar. But uh, yeah, something like that I feel like would be the best. Well, what I was going to say was uh, live test subjects. Yeah. Uh, just so we could. But that's very. Um, well, there's subjective. a lot of, there's a lot of variables in yeah, there too. Yeah, very you subjective. Know? So, I f- so what we have, so, okay, so we have to get like one autumn animatronic pussy i thought basically. you were gonna say ottoman and i was like you will not finger my son that, idiot's <laughs> that is a sentence i didn't think i was gonna be told ever in my life but well, here we are it's good that someone's telling you i'm glad you're laying down the ground <laughs> yeah. rules here no you could totally finger my ottoman son <laughs> yeah you gotta put gotta put ottoman yeah, in there I should have, but i didn't <laughs> uh, you also of... can't finger any of my children I ever don't want to finger your children yeah. ever let's make a pact let's do a pinky promise that we'll never finger each other's children where... <laughs> <laughs> i'm fine with it uh let's hide my pinkies for this <laughs> no, just, uh, just touch do it I, together. Yeah. yeah. Wait, do it again, do it again, do it again. Oh, there, wait, we yes. missed. <laughs> there we go. It's a very small po- place to pinpoint. Very tiny pinkies for a man your size. Because uh, I, uh, I work them out by holding my turn. Okay, so here's how we can... So uh, what I was going to say was do... So there's a there's a thing out there where they do, like, where they unfortunately, and I'm against this practice, where they test on animals with, like, cosmetics and products I don't and like stuff where like this that. is going well, at no, all. No, it's very <laughs> dark. But what it is is they have something called an LD50, which is a lethal dose 50 where they're just like you know pumping rabbits full of laundry detergent and when 50 percent of the test subjects die that's considered a lethal dose 50 and that's where they can get some of their graphics from not not wanting to hurt anyone in the situation not kill anyone but i feel like i need a test group of let's say uh five to ten just so we can get some good numbers on the board because if it's just one person that i'm trying to finger fast it you know that's just going to be one experience yeah. but if we can take 10 and find an average from there you know yeah. we can get more of a well-rounded number to see how fast fast finger slim can but actually still, finger fast but there has to be something like actually clocking your speed that's what i'm saying women are you might think you D- could finger two girls at the same pace and one might uh, be no, like that, that no was, that's no that's not right i can't finger two at once no, because what the right I'm hand say, stronger no, than the left what i'm saying is you could finger both of them separately at the same exact speed separately and one might be like that was fine and one might be like that was the fast you know what i mean yeah. everybody's different well i also got to feel like to gauge that you either, either have to have the clicker thing inside of them like how you yeah, sometimes that's why i think it can't be well, well i mean like, yeah, haven't you seen those pornos where like the camera's like inside of them yeah i think that was i think that's like a sex ed video whatever it is it's it's graphic yeah. and it leads me to believe the cameras can... to sex ed videos, no man? but my, on, kid, my get kid. it together <laughs> i mean you know sometimes the old just that overproduced porn doesn't really do it for me i'm going for the real amateur shit you feel me <laughs> And I don't know if that's real amateur. That that's seems real very produced. Am- it's like incredibly produced. <laughs> I, you think you think porn is produced? Check out a sex ed video yeah. for that overly hyped sense well, of I mean, production. Well, I mean, you don't see that camera angle very often. You so. don't. You really, really don't. Uh, but and a lot of them are old, which leads me to believe the cameras were bigger. Yeah. So, so. well, because what I'm saying is that, like, if you can get a camera inside of a woman, you can get some type of speedometer clicker yeah, inside but I of feel a like woman it would have to be like wired and it's and well wired. in that case i feel like i might as well just wear a fitbit and we can see you know how many laps i'm doing yeah i, I would <laughs> like it to not be live women 
Yeah, I I, I knew that because I, like I was thinking about this for the last day and a half. I was thinking yeah. like, so how do we accurately determine? I feel how like fast I said I if finger. it was like one of the fake ones. And there was something. But it's gotta be one there. of those. No, it's gotta be one of those like crazy realistic sex dolls that are like. Six, yeah, that's what I mean. Like the thing that's cut where it's just the. Vagina. No, no, no! I want the actual whole sex doll that I get to keep after the experiment. Well, we don't have. No, no. You don't just get benefits because someone asked you a question. I feel like I do because I run the no. most successful podcast in I the will world. Make you a fifi, and we will put a clicker in it, <laughs> and that's probably the best we can do with where we're at, honestly. Oh I mean, yeah. We have Patreon subscribers I didn't, I didn't now, think but that we don't fifi have... thing could get any better until you said. Fifi. I'm going to make you a Fifi with a clicker in it. Yeah. That's that's the episode title right there, Fifi with a clicker in it. I, I can't, can't wait till you draw that, that graphic. I can't make code. that artwork. Uh, Just use a Pringles can with like a Fitbit wrapped around it. No. I, then we won't get the Pringles endorsement ever again. What, what about the Prongles endorsement yeah, we've been so we, desperately trying to get? You can the shit out of those. Oh, I have Pringles fucked the shit out yeah, of the Prongles can. Have. What do you think I was doing when you were late today? Interesting that I noticed the can was getting heavier over time, but not soggier. Yeah. My loads Just sitting there dry. drying it out with a hair dryer afterwards. Got to keep the integrity of oh, the can. Oh, how that would smell. Oh, my God. Just <laughs> hot. up your cum. Just heating up your cum in a fucking Prongles can with a oh. hair dryer. Oh. Even better. That's, do, that's how house fires start. Even better do it like a goofy movie and take the cigarette lighter and pop, put it on the bottom of the can to heat up the soup. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> a very bizarre reference and a lot of them are but i don't remember that <laughs> don't you rem- okay so in the goofy no movie, i don't remember anything from the goofy so in movie. the goofy movie they're on a road trip because goofy wants to take his son fishing at the old fishing hole but then he wants to go to the concert whatever the power glide or whatever and uh they get trapped <laughs> power in the- glide the song by ray tremor <laughs> yeah yeah and uh <laughs> they get and it slightly walks out like, that, <laughs> like a cartoon i saw i saw I that, fucking love that I video i saw that on twitter and my favorite one was said, someone said when my ass itches but there's too many people around. my favorite one was where it said dude looks like he's stealing baguettes yeah uh but so no so they get trapped in the car by bigfoot because they're like driving through of a course. national park yeah. and so they can't get out and start a campfire to eat so G- goofy goes this is an old trick my dad taught me and he pops the cigarette lighter in, pulls it out, and then sticks a can of soup underneath it to heat up the can of soup, and then you know opens it. And now they have fresh hot soup in a can. So what I'm picturing that doesn't. And of course, it, it's a it's a Disney movie. There's no science Goofy involved. Goofy pulls out the cigarette lighter and puts it on his dick. <laughs> it's like I wish you were never. Well, born. the implication here is that Goofy had a son with a woman that either left him yeah. or died. Well, look at Chucky from Rugrats. Uh, look at Hey Arnold. Yeah. Like, everyone's parents were dead for some reason. <laughs> yeah, but nobody... It's not explicitly stated anywhere what happened to Goofy's wife, but that means somebody got the yuck in their guck from Hoof, Goofy. You know Goofy. <laughs> Good old Hoofy. <laughs> Hoofy was eating Prongles. <laughs> Started fucking... You mean... You mean Boofy? <laughs> I want, uh... I want a scenario where Goofy fucked a normal looking woman and had a kid. But then he also had like a dog like son, so it's like I know, they to, really He had to fuck something of the same species, I feel like. I know they made But then why is that one dog so beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> the important question. Why is that dog so goddamn beautiful? But then Goofy and Pluto were both dogs. I feel like you have a separate podcast where you just ask questions to no one. But Goofy and Pluto were separate dogs. What the fuck? But but work? Pluto can't talk. But then there's his neighbor. But then B- Bluto is the Popeyes character, though, right? The big mean guy I from don't Popeye. No, where we're Goofy anymore. <laughs> you, you started a wormhole in my brain that I, I can cannot tell. escape. I'm so fu- well I'm so fucking home. tired, man. I've gotten seven hours of sleep this weekend. I can't stop I thinking think, about that beautiful cartoon dog. I don't think people realize like it's stressful to like make this and like. Like, edit and stuff. There's also a lot of insanity being put in our brains by bringing up subjects and running off with them. And because now then we, we can't then stop we thinking, sit around about, thinking it. about pizza bagels and how beautiful that dog is. <laughs> and how come he's. How come that beautiful dog won't come back to me? He oh. ran off. She ran off with your stupid Ottoman son and my weird evil persona. I do want to say, because it just reminded me, since this is basically the Halloween episode, because it's going to come out right before Halloween. Need everyone. We've talked about a lot of horror movies. Watch a lot of horror movies. I need everyone to watch one movie. It's available on YouTube. I think we talked about it last year, but please watch it again if you haven't. Um, Trick or Treason. Alvin and the Chipmunks. Trick or Treason. Watch it. Submit to us your favorite moment. I have three favorite moments. 
three quick ones i will tell them on the next episode if we get submissions but one of them the fucking ending is incredible that movie's fucking <laughs> it's unbelievable I, I want us to i want us to pull this up at uh kurt's party on friday i want us to pull it up on the big tv it's just us get, watching it. just fucking wasted cuddling and just watching it <laughs> and i'm quoting it <laughs> the whole time making and just also, screaming it at people walking by watch it on something else if you can i don't know what it's on if you watch it on youtube you watch the whole movie and there's there's a weird like gap and then at the end that gap is tacked onto the end so there's like a scene missing and then put on the very end and that's not how it should be it's very very confusing <laughs> that is not how so you're try to watch, watch it somewhere else but i understand if it's not readily available everywhere i had a vhs <laughs> copy when i was a child and i would eat chili and drink yuho in the juice boxes hmm. so uh we have one Simpler more time one more submission um uh, i really don't know where to what go to, with i don't know one. what to make of this one yeah this but it's is from odd. it's from anon is the name uh the email is Dwayne elizondo mountain dew herbert camacho at the dapper dads.com that is the most original one that we've gotten yes, but it will I, never trump big dick at small dick.com i'm so sorry i was just wondering if it was one of the what are the things where the, the first letter of each word yeah d- d- it didn't spell anything no it just says d-e-m-d-h-c demdish yeah i don't know so yeah like the a fucking i don't know what that is go but for a danish right literally now. all it is um it's, it says Sandy Chicken. It's a YouTube link to a music video from eight years ago so, on YouTube. So Back 2010 YouTube was Wild Wild, wild West. Uh, there are 280 views on it, so it's not popping per se. I, I am starting to think that over the course of eight years, the 280 views came from the person who submitted this, if my math could be right. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, not a lot of views or something. Eight years, I don't even know. So, yeah, it's, if you submitted this, we'll get into it in a second what it is. I want to know if you're behind this, involved in Did it, you or you just this? owned it, because it's hard to find shit like that. Well, and it's so ob- that's it's so like wormhole. like it's not like one of those weird videos that's got a ton no. of views. It's like so, like how deep in so, your because like we all get into those YouTube traps oh, yeah. where we're like sitting there and we click on related videos, related videos, and then, and then like you're just lost. looking at some weird shit, and it's six yeah. hours later, and you're like, what am I doing with my life? And you're yeah, sobbing. But it's hard to find something. Your like Ottoman this. son needs this to be a- fed. I don't feed that thing. <laughs> he feeds um, himself pretty well, from what I understand. A lot of birds and cats missing in your neighborhood, though. Yeah, that's not my problem. A lot problem. of pets gone missing. Yeah, the flyers you, get m- sick. You don't want to go down that road. <laughs> now, sometimes, yeah, my Ottoman son slipped my Achilles tendon. Sometimes things are better off dead. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so this is a, a music video. It's like five-minute song. Yeah, it's very um, long, very basically. repetitive. After the first, after the first yeah. verse, it's like they kind of... Uh, like hit their stride with what mm. they were going for here and just rolled with it. It's a yeah, the, uh, the story is essentially that uh, the man comes home uh, and wants to eat and uh, eventually finds some chicken that his mom had made. So he takes it to a beach with some beers and some cigarettes and is having a good time. And then a man's foot kicks sand onto his chicken, and then they have to fight the man because of it. Does that sum it up? Yeah, if if I had to sum it, if I had to give give a cliff notes of it, does, that's that's what yeah. the weird yellow laminated sheet would say at Barnes mm-hmm. and Noble. So, well, I guess we'll post it on Facebook or something. We'll share it uh, oh. just so maybe we can get the view count up on yeah. it. But it is, uh, it's not even a music video per se. No, it's, it's a bunch a of photos. Pictures. One is the men are about to kiss. Yeah. And, and then the there's a man just... where just circled, he appears to be passed out and he's surrounded by a bunch yeah. of beer bottles. And then just tight close up <laughs> MySpace esque pictures of. Yeah. Because this was from back when, was MySpace still popping in 2010? I don't think so. Because no. I, I remember my MySpace. I would have been 30. So. No, <laughs> aging backwards. No, I'm 48. Oh, yeah, Dave. that is so shocking. You were me. at my 47th birthday. Mm, yeah, I remember we uh, my golden birthday. Yeah, because uh, we got because <laughs> everybody pissed on me. <laughs> we uh we got you those over the hill gifts, but it just wasn't time yet. I guess no, that was I, three and... years prior when we should have gotten you the over the hill gifts because yes. you were 50. Yes, good good math. <laughs> it's fast fast math. <laughs> fast math. Take That's off that great. jacket, man's not hot. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say. I don't want sand in my chicken. I don't know where this came from. I very, mean, it's, it's a credible statement. You don't kick sand in a man's chicken. No. That's all there is to it. It's very, like, especially if it's chicken his mom, like if my, cause my, I don't get food from my mom very often these days, but like, I love my neither. mom's cooking. Yeah. You, uh, there's reasons for that. <laughs> hmm. Um, but man, I love my mom was cooking. She's still one of the best cooks I know. She taught me everything I know about cooking. I'll kick sand in her food. If uh, if you kick sand in my mama's food, we're fist fighting for real. You're gonna get a pair of Irish sunglasses if you kick sand in my mama's food. 
I've been uh, punching out faces with the hands that I pray with. Punch and grope, punch and grope. It's all you know. No, no, not in this current climate. <laughs> um, yeah. Also, it's a very jam bandy song, and then it has just a really a quick, wicked, wicked, quick guitar, guitar solo. solo. A lot of distortion, nowhere. like really? laid on top. Like yeah. after mastering, they were like, "Also oh, a guitar solo." What it makes me think of is uh, the band Demon Hunter. Whenever they master their albums, they're the guy who engineers them. He peppers in like little synth sounds and like sound effects and stuff like that. And uh, the, I read an interview one time where they were talking about, like, the mastering album process, and the singer just called them, like, little treats that he throws in. So I like to think that this was a little treat their engineer threw on top. He's like, man, this is a, this is a fucking – back in 2010, you know, everybody's listening to Lil Wayne at the time. Lollipop is uh, at the top of the charts. I don't believe that. I don't, I don't remember time accurately. I think that was 2008. Accurately. I don't remember seven. time accurately. Uh, I know. And uh, he's thinking, you know what uh, – you know what this needs? No, this this had to be post uh, Lil Wayne putting out that rock album. Yeah, Rebirth. And yeah, so yeah. this he had to be listening to Rebirth quite a bit, and he was like, <laughs> Just "Man, like everyone was, right?" Yeah, we. Were, I mean, I bought that on vinyl, CD, uh, limited edition red cassette. It was uh, it was a be- what a time to be alive. Just as to break would, all of them. Yeah, just to break every single just to one. Burn of them. Blind that rage. The, uh, that was the last uh, real good album burning we had. Yeah, we, we got all those people. Together. What whatever happened to the good old days where you got together and burned your records because you didn't support the band anymore? Now you just shoot your thirty dollars. Now you just shoot your fucking uh, yeti. Loads. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm all fire. I'm always shooting loads into a fire. Man, if I could. Ooh, that's a. That's, that's what a, I did at that party last night. That's a bucket list idea. Get some. T- get some. Come into a fire. You get the sloppiest of Toppington next to a fire and ha- have her shoot it into the fire. Why does she have? She's not going to be able to sh- get that trajectory. I mean, they don't know what they're doing. Well, I mean, like you know, it's one of those things where it's going to pop off. You know. No, you're going to have to. And then hold it down at the bottom, and then you know what I mean when you. Get I mean, those like I mean, ropes. I'm, I mean, like I'm not. We no, all have a technique. Not normally a fan of not getting finished, but in this instance, where if I'm gonna shotgun down into a fire, I will finish oh, myself. Oh, so you're over the fire now. Well, I mean, I'm next to the you're fire. Lose poops. I mean, poops. I don't know why you think I'm not sh- clean shaven and Brazilian waxed constantly. I've seen you. It's half and half. Yeah, I do half of it because then I can't stand you, like, the pain you anymore. Always take those side profiles of dick pics it's weird it's the only angle my dick looks good at there is not a, there's not a lot of angles where it looks very good you're uh, preaching to the dick choir <laughs> all right well uh <coughs> yeah that was nice folks thanks for all the submissions they were almost all great um some better than others yeah some were sandy chicken we don't hate it just very confused yeah um so explain yourself and uh send all the things i think we were saying to send throughout the episode uh we'll be in madison next se- or this saturday when you're listening yep, to it tomorrow we will be in madison so follow uh follow the the twitter at dapper dads the uh fucking instagram at dapper dads podcast. what is happening are you having a stroke uh, i'm always having a little bit of a stroke yeah that's how, how i stay you- on my feet yeah i gotta keep the edge on um uh, yeah i edge myself until i stroke <laughs> All right, stroke until I edge myself. There you go. See, backwards. Um, yeah, fucking go to our Patreon. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash Dapper Dads. Pledge some money, get some things, have a good time. Wingo.